Hello, everyone. I have quite a crowd. This is very flattering. Thank you. Um, I am Julia with Parcel Lab, and I am here today to talk with you about your post-checkout customer experience and customer communication. Um, do we have any retailers in the audience? Anyone? Hands? Okay, excellent. Well, our solution is for you. So post-checkout communication, that sounds pretty lofty. What does it actually mean? So basically, we realized about three years ago that most e-commerce retailers were putting so many resources into creating a fantastic shopping experience. So a really great platform, cool content, good marketing campaigns, lots of advertising. But once that customer actually purchased, that experience stopped. Basically, they would send out an email that said something like, hey, thanks for your order, we appreciate it, here's your tracking link, see you later. And then maybe a couple weeks later, they might send out an email asking for a review request, but by that point, the customer had likely moved on to their next product, they had kind of forgotten about it, forgotten about the company, they weren't as excited, all the emotion was gone. So, we realized that customer or that retailers were taking their most important asset, which is that customer contact, and handing it over to their logistics provider. So DHL was communicating with their customers now instead of the retailer themselves. We saw that this could be a potentially new communication channel. And we like to use the example of Amazon, because Amazon is, of course, the benchmark for e-commerce, at least in our opinion. When you buy something from Amazon, every communication is going to come from them. Everything within that communication is going to be branded from them. Everything will link back to their ecosystem. They understand that their most valuable asset as a retailer is that customer contact. So what we realized, as I mentioned earlier, is that this is a whole new channel, basically, for retailers to communicate and engage your customers. And you can have a huge impact on your customer experience, because really, the reason people shop online is for ease and convenience. And a lot of times, the whole delivery process and delivery communication is not easy or convenient for a consumer. And so we step in and make that easy and convenient. So when you start managing this experience, your communication could look a little bit like this. These are some new touch points within this new communication channel. As you can see, they're personalized, on brand, and you can integrate content. But our real value isn't just creating pretty emails. What we actually do behind the scenes is, on the one hand, we integrate directly with all, with about, about 350 logistics carriers worldwide. And so with those integrations, we are monitoring, analyzing, and validating all those shipments in real time. And on the other hand, we also understand what your customer's expectations are. So basically, we know when your customer wants their package. And when you combine this logistical information with the customer information, we can change the customer experience post-checkout. We can start communicating with your customers. So when you start managing this experience, suddenly you can be proactive. If for some reason that parcel gets stuck or gets lost along the way, suddenly you can reach out to your customer instead of waiting for your customer to call you angry or to even worse, write you a bad review online, and you can completely transform this customer's experience with your brand. So suddenly your customer feels important and they realize, wow, this company actually cares about me. They're reaching out to me to let me know that my shipment is delayed. Like, that's pretty amazing. No one else does this. And it totally transforms how they experience your company, how they experience that product. The other thing you can do is you can use these communications to integrate with other data sources. So instead of your customers getting all these emails from DHL or DPD, everything is going to come from you as a retailer. And 
again, with these data sources, we can completely transform the customer experience. So maybe your customer needs to pick up their package at one of your stores or at a, uh, like a package, ship, uh, package location. We can integrate with Google Maps. So with one click, your customer is guided to their package. So again, it's completely transforming their experience. Suddenly, they feel like they're cared for. It's easy for them to get their delivery. Instead of having to navigate the delivery process themselves, you as a retailer are accompanying them and helping them. We can also include um, weather-based information. So maybe rain is on the way. You can suggest that your customer bring an umbrella when they go pick up their package. So instead of getting rained on and being grumpy, they are suddenly like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that they're actually telling me to bring an umbrella and I am not going to get rained on anymore when I go pick up my package at the parcel shop. And then lastly, the other thing you can do with these emails that really makes them so powerful is you can include any content you like. So our emails typically have opening rates of 80 to 90 percent. That is simply because customers are so excited about their delivery. They want to know what's going on with it. They want that product. They're really open to engaging with your brand, and they have a lot of positive emotion about this delivery. So some content you can include, for in this example here, it's um, a bike retailer, an online bike store. So when you buy a bicycle and they ship it to you, it's going to come unassembled. For some cu customers, they might not realize that. And so they might be really excited that their bike is coming, but then they get it and they realize they have to put it together and it's a really nice day and they want to go out for a ride and now they're frustrated that they have to put together their bicycle instead of go out for a ride. So this bicycle company integrated a video tutorial for how to assemble the bike. So again, it's completely transforming the customer's experience with that product and with you as a company. The customer feels cared for. They feel like you are taking care of them. Um, and it's a totally different experience. We can also include some social media information. Maybe your customer is really excited about their new dress they just bought, and they want to share it with their friends on Facebook. We can include a link where your customer can push that to their social network. We can also include a product recommendation engine. So maybe your customer um, recently purchased a dress, you can suggest that they also purchase a scarf or some shoes to go with it. And again, remember the opening rates on these emails, so it's a really powerful way to engage with your customer. So the other thing we do is it's not just pretty communications. We also link everything in those emails back to a custom track and trace page within your online shop. This again speaks to the Amazon model. When Amazon is sending out a communication, everything in that communication is going to link back to Amazon. So again, your customers will constantly be linked back to your online shop. Within this track and trace page, you can customize it as much as you like. Um, any existing marketing overlays or marketing automation that already exists within your shop will automatically be displayed. It's basically just an an empty landing page within your domain where we have to paste a little bit of uh, code. And we kind of continue this philosophy of customer-centric communication in the track and trace page. So what your customers will always see immediately is expected delivery date and the trace history. So again, they know what's going on with their package. They feel like they're taken care of. So. When you start taking over your customer experience post-checkout, you as a retailer can totally change that experience and tie all this positive emotion to your brand. You can help build customer loyalty and build customer trust. Instead of your customers getting you know, all those communications from DHL or DPD, they're coming from you directly, and that's really powerful. So when we see um, some of our retailers use our, use our post-checkout communication, there's some pretty impressive figures that happen. Um, and these are real numbers from existing customers. So we see the repurchase rate almost double. That's simply because happy customers will buy again. They feel like they're cared for. They feel like they're important. They're happy to come back and shop with you again. 
we bring back 75% of your customers into your ecosystem, which is really powerful. So with those email communications, three out of every four customers come back to your online shop. And you have an ability then to further retarget them. Instead of having to constantly buy new customers from marketing campaigns or advertising campaigns, you can retarget those existing customers. Uh, customer reviews increase as well. Because we are constantly analyzing that logistics data and the customer data, we optimize the timing for sending review requests. And we optimize this to increase the number of reviews. And then lastly, um, customer service inquiries decrease significantly. And that is simply because your customers are well informed about their delivery and they don't need to inquire with you anymore. But I saved one of the best things for last. Um, one of the best things about our solution is that there's no integration needed. All you have to do is forward us your existing dispatch confirmations or BCC us on those emails, and we can take over the communication. So we simply turn off the communication from the logistics carriers and turn on ours, because those dispatch confirmations contain all the, email, all the information we need to start communicating with your customers. So because this is so easy, um, we have been able to grow really quickly. We currently support about 280 online shops. Um, we are headquartered in Munich, so most of our customers are more German speaking, but we have been tracking shipments all over the world since we started because everyone does cross-border shipment these days. And a couple of them you might recommend are, or might, uh, you might know are Lidl Germany and Eve Sleep here in the UK. But we handle communication for 30% of Germany's largest e-commerce retailers. Um, we are active in 32 countries. We can communicate in 18 languages. And we would love to talk with you. Um, if you are interested in improving your customer retention and further monetizing your ex existing customers, you can find us at booth E70. It's kind of just down the hallway a little bit, sort of by where we came in. Um, and we would love to talk with you. We want to see your e-commerce thrive in 2018. Thank you, guys.